Today, I still like Harry Potter, but I've also become a big fan of BTS. BTS or Bangtan Sonyeondan is a Korean K-pop group that has gained popularity around the world. The BTS fandom called BTS ARMY is known to be one of the most active online fan communities in existence. BTS has an official platform called Weverse that they use to connect with fans. BTS members also use Twitter and Instagram to communicate with fans. Naturally, the BTS fans are active on all of these platforms. Another platform that fans are active on is YouTube because things like official music videos, performance videos, and interviews are uploaded there. Fan edited videos, also known as crack videos, are another popular genre of videos on YouTube, which are usually compilations of funny moments. From my experience as a BTS fan, I knew that people who are a fan of BTS will consume a lot of BTS content across these platforms due to their genuine interest in the group. As a PhD student in Applied Linguistics and Technology, I became interested in the language learning opportunities that were present in this online space. Because fans are from all over the world, English is used as the main medium of communication among these fans. Therefore, English language learners are inevitably exposed to English in BTS online fan communities. Among the many social media platforms, I personally enjoy watching BTS videos and reading the comments on YouTube. For that reason, in a recent study, my colleagues and I decided to conduct a corpus-based study on comments from BTS YouTube videos to see which four-word lexical bundles occur most frequently. Lexical bundles are recurring sequences of words. As Dr. Rinaldi mentioned earlier, it is important to understand which words typically go together or co-occur, and a lexical bundle analysis allows us to do that. For example, one of the most frequent lexical bundles in crack videos was I laughed so hard. The use of hard in I laughed so hard may be something that English language learners are unfamiliar with. Through frequent exposure to this expression, BTS fans who are English language learners will notice that I laugh so hard is more frequently used than alternative expressions such as I laugh so much or I laughed a lot. A lexical bundle that was frequent in comments for music videos or performance videos was I'm so proud of. Frequent exposure to this expression helps English language learners notice that the standard preposition that follows proud is of and not with, which can otherwise be difficult for L2 learners to remember. Second language researchers recognize extensive and repeated language exposure is recognized to be essential for foreign language learning. English learners in EFL contexts do not get such exposure routinely. For them, the access they have to social media platforms such as YouTube is very important because they offer opportunities for engaging with target language communities. Their extensive and repeated exposure to English can be driven by their passion for affiliation with fan communities. Researchers like Shannon Sauro have studied many aspects of online informal language learning on the internet. Professor Sauro has studied fans, fandoms, fan fiction, and other fan practices for language learning. She has seen successful second language learners who participate as fans with the deliberate goal of developing English. Professor Sauro's research, along with my own experience, make me think that participation in communities of fans on the internet may be a good way of motivating some language learners.